morning from the heart september 19th god's victory judges 7 7 then the lord said to gideon by the 300 men who lapped i will save you after the overthrow of the midianites the tidings spread swiftly far and wide that israel's god had again fought for his people no words can describe the terror of the surrounding nations when they learn what simple means had prevailed against all the power and skill of a bold warlike race Wherever the news spread, all felt that the victory must be ascribed to God alone. Thus, the Lord's name was glorified. The faith of Israel strengthened and their enemies were brought to shame and confusion. It is not safe for God's people to adopt the maxims and customs of the ungodly. The divine principles and modes of working are widely different from those of the world. The history of nations presents no such victories as the conquest of Jericho or the overthrow of the Midianites. No general of heathen armies had ever conducted warfare as Joshua and Gideon had done. These victories teach the great lesson that the only sure ground of success is the help of God. Working with human effort, and combining human effort with divine um, abilities. Those who trust to their own wisdom and their own skill will surely be disappointed. The only safe course in all the plans and purposes of life is to preserve the simplicity of faith. Humble trust in God and faithful obedience to his will are as essential to the Christian in waging spiritual warfare as they were to Gideon and his brave associates in fighting the battles of the Lord. God's command must be implicitly obeyed, irrespective of the world's opinion. This lesson should not be disregarded by those who occupy positions of responsibility among their fellow men. All should earnestly improve every religious privilege and inquire of God, God daily to learn his will. The life and words of Christ must be diligently studied and his instructions cheerfully obeyed. Those who will thus gird on the armor of righteousness need not fear the enemies of God. They may be assured of the presence and protection of the captain of the Lord's host. The Lord is willing to give his people a precious experience. He would teach them to submit their judgment and their will implicitly to him. Then will they see and know that of themselves they can do nothing, that God is all and in all. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.